are some pictures of a clean aquarium with a pump producing bubbles at the bottom. After a week in these pictures, we see that there is a layer of foam formed on the water surface. But what actually causes this? And what is the purpose of the foam? Let us take a look behind the theory of this foam formation. Here we have the aquarium again, but now we are only going to focus on a small region here. As the bubbles rises up the aquarium, it collects dissolved organic compounds such as proteins from the surrounding water. This is due to the polarity of the protein itself which absorbs the air-water interface. At the water surface, there is a high density of protein molecules present. This is due to the large air-water interface which provides a large surface area for absorption to occur. As more foams are formed, the surface area for absorption of protein increases tremendously. In the formation of foam, three conditions must be met. Firstly, mechanical work such as agitation or as seen here due to the rising of the bubbles. Second is surfactants like the organic waste materials that help reduce the surface tension of the foam. Lastly, stabilization by van der Waals forces between the molecules in the foam help prevent it from breaking down. Looking at a microscopic view, here it is much clearer to see how the organic waste molecules attach themselves to the air-water interface. The hydrophilic head is embedded in the water interface while its hydrophobic tail protrudes outwards. The foam provides twice as much surface area for the proteins to absorb, which will be then removed by mechanical means. There are many applications of foam fractionation in industries today that helps the community around us. First, it is used in pharmaceuticals for the recovery of captopril, a drug used in the treatment of high blood pressure and congestive heart failure. In the food industry, it is used for the extraction of polyphenolics from apple juices, which prevents clouding in the clear juices as well as bitterness in its taste. In wastewater treatment, foam fractionation is not only used to remove organic waste, but also heavy metal ions and bacterial cells. E. coli and Bacillus subtilis are a few to name of, which can cause food poisoning in humans if consumed.